Okay, in this video, I'm gonna be diagnosing the issue I'm having with this uh, logic board. This is 2011 15 inch MacBook Pro uh, logic board. Uh, the number is 8202915. The logic board works fine. The uh, discrete GPU was already disabled, but uh, we, we are having issues with the keyboard and trackpad not working. So, uh, uh, I already did the visual inspection. I did not find anything. And going through the uh, going through the schematics, uh, okay. going through the schematics, we have this chip. This chip, which is U fifty seven one, that controls the basically the USB controller for the keyboard and uh, trackpad. It's right here on the schematics. Okay, and in order for it to function properly, first thing what we need is this 3.3 uh, volts right here, S4 line, VGD. This is the, the voltage that we have to be getting in order for it to function. And um, so we're gonna measure that 3.3 uh, S4 line. Right here, I'm going to connect the power source. Okay, it's coming in. And uh, yeah, going back to the voltage. And what do we have here? 1.7 volts. No good. We have to have 3.3. So going back to the schematics and searching for this line, where it's coming from and uh, how it's created, we are getting to the following information right here, which is right here. So we have the S5 line, the S5 line right here, coming in to this, uh, Q7800 uh, element that it's not actually, it's not present there. It's not there. Uh, but what we have is the actual resistor that's connect the S, S, uh, S5 line to S4 line. And we have the S4 and the output. And this is zero ohms, 7803. So we are searching on the, on the, on, uh, on the board view. R7803, R7803, and uh, it's right here. That's 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 where I was searching. This is S4 and S5 S5 line. So going back to the diagnostics right here, and uh, this is the the resistor we are interested in. Okay, our board is still running. So let's see. So we have S4 line again, I tested it already, 1.3 now. Okay, but uh, the S5 line is 3.3. It's exactly what we need. So, so this supposed to be, this resistor supposed to be zero. We don't have a zero there. So let's test it out. I'm gonna dis disconnect the power source and put my multimeter in a resistance mode. And what do we have here? We have kilo ohms, definitely not zero ohms. So that's where our problem lays. I'm gonna replace that resistor and I'm 100% sure we're gonna have the problem solved. Thank you very much for watching. If you like that my videos, please subscribe. And uh, as you can see, I'm gonna show you that that resistor is actually, it looks perfectly fine. See the resistor, there's nothing, you know, looking at it, it's perfectly fine. But we definitely have an issue in that area. So uh, as, I, as I said, thank you for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe. Thank you.